What's up guys, Fish Keeper is here once again with another video. I wanted to do a little update on the CO2 I um, started about a month ago on this tank. Uh, just show you guys the changes that this tank has gone through just from the CO2 that I've added about a month ago. So let's get right into it. So if you take a close look at, for example, this Japanica, it's growing really nice. It's actually growing faster than I thought it would grow. I heard it doesn't grow that fast, but it's growing pretty fast here. Uh, next to it is the plant that I thought was dead for a long time. Um, before I used CO2, I had this guy in here. This is an AR Rosenfall, Rosenberg. I didn't look up the names. Maybe I'll insert the name somewhere, but yeah, that guy right there. I only had three clippings of it a while back and finally getting some nice growth those plants you see i mean the leaves you see in the back those algae filled ones are uh old they're from before co2 was injected in the tank so don't mind that uh, same thing with some of these plants like for example that that's from the pantophyta that was old growth from before co2 uh, but yeah doing really good um this one's AR, still going through a melt, hard melt, and just not doing anything. I don't know, just slowly dying, but rooting. You see the roots? Not sure what's up with that. This is a Rotala, can't tell. Um, some people online were telling me it's Rotala Vietnam, uh, well, Ichi or something like that. It's another one. They all look the same, kind of. I'm just gonna go with Vietnam. I think I like it. I, I googled the images and that one looked more like this, but they're all kind of the same species. Really nice, has a nice red tint to the center. I really like that plant. Hygrophila, Hygrophila pinatophyta. Really nice, dense rooting going down down there. Uh, this plant grows so fast that it's actually getting a deficiency right now. Um, I think it's low in manganese. So I've been uh, cranking up my dosage of uh, aquarium co-ops. Easy Green, I believe that contains the manganese. So hopefully that'll help. Also, those are the older leaves from like before CO2. Over here, I have some Ludwigia. I think it's just red Reuben or like green or whatever. Just like a regular Ludwigia that you would find anywhere. Um, for the first time i'm getting yellow on there i never had that i always just had very dark green like kind of like back there but these new ones are coming out yellow really nice um now my light is obviously not crazy it's not like incredible but it's it's good enough it's like doing a really good job uh in the back i have hygrophila uh, sorry hy hygrophila uh sunset i believe it's called it's not Korean bosa or anything like that or compacta it's uh, what they considered sunset. I bought it a while back as a uh, hygrophila sunset. So it's really nice, doing good. Uh, the tips over there are orangish, bright yellow. It's growing really big now that um, I have CO2. So I might actually have to move the hygrophila out of there uh, just because it's, it's growing way too fast for this tank. And then my favorite corner back there, the Dwigia species. Uh, super red or I guess super red uh, and I think um, I think it's doing really good but for a good like two week period my light was kind of doing bad on one side I guess I had too much crud built up on this side and then this side was clean so like this side of the tank was getting some really good growth whereas this side over here was like kind of lacking in brightness and then I realized that it was dirty so I cleaned it out and now hopefully I'm getting better distribution of light although i'm really considering getting a better light now even though this is a pretty good light but i might get a better light maybe once this whole situation that we're all dealing with globally goes away maybe hopefully a couple months i'll go out there trade in some shrimp maybe get a flu wall 3.0 maybe not sure if that's better or not but we'll i'll see maybe even go for a twin star we'll see what's up with that uh, but yeah, doing good. Those plants are finally red. Like I said before, I wasn't able to get them red. Although they do a good job staying red without CO2. 
have some examples of that over here. I think it has more to do with the lighting than anything. Keeping a super red red, I think has to do with lighting more than anything. So that's uh, that's pretty much most plants. I did have some uh, sturgeon repens that I removed a while back. And this guy showed up recently. I didn't even know I had any more left in the tank. So that guy is growing decent, I guess. Maybe if it actually starts to sprout, I'll do some uh, propagation and spread it out a little more. But all in all, the, the CO2 has been doing really good. Honestly. Plants are growing faster. I'm actually finding myself, uh, I, when I test the water, I don't see any nitrates in the water. Like, I, I don't know. I, I have, Right now I fertilize every two or three days. And right before I fertilize, I check like, is there any nitrates? And it'll be very low. Um, I use test strips. Uh, I should probably get to the master kit, but right now uh, I'm not buying a master kit at this moment. Like I said, maybe after everything goes away, everything goes back to normal globally, then maybe I'll consider doing things like that. But right now I don't want to spend too much money on fish uh, because we're a lot of work. Well, I'm out of work kind of, so I don't want to really spend too much money on my hobby. Uh, but once it's all cleared up and good, uh, I'm going to go trade in some shrimp. Like I said, maybe I'll get a master kit get a better reading on my uh, how I dose but right now with my test strips I've been getting some good readings uh, but I just I mean I've never it's like they've never failed me as far as the test strip the, the tetra ones but every time I check like before I fertilize I'm like wow there's literally zero nitrates I've checked um, like I'll put some uh, some fertilizer in there and then like in a few hours I'll do a test strip and then yeah it's in there but then the next day it's dramatically less and then on the third day I have like almost none left so it's, it's pretty crazy how fast they're taking up nutrients now or to the point where I'm like I'm gonna have to buy some more uh, fertilizers and uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch brand I, right now I'm using aquarium co-ops easy green it's been good it's been really good uh, I'm just gonna see what else I can get I know that locally I can get UNS like all-in-one fertilizer I can also get Tropica so I want to try one of those and then I'll do a review on it and see how I feel compared to the co-op Easy Green. And I'll probably continue using the Flourish Advance and the Flourish Iron just to kind of keep going. But uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I, I think uh, something is up. I think the CO2 is doing really good. My lighting, I think I'm starting to notice that my light is a little old. So maybe the output on the light isn't as strong as it used to. And I think actually that, I think that's what it is. So uh, I might have to look into getting another light again because this light is starting to not. I feel like it's not as bright as it used to be. I don't know. Maybe I should look back at one of the videos. Uh, you know, one of the first videos I did. Maybe I could tell like, the difference. But for now, I think the light isn't doing the best right now. I actually just split the CO2 recently uh, with a nice little splitter, bubble counter, and everything. And I added a CO2 diffuser back there. This tank is pretty shallow. So I think if I really want it to work correctly, I'm gonna need to do a few, uh, kind of like rearrange where I have my outflow of my um, canister filter. And once I figure out how to extend it, I have some, some parts that I can just extend it and bring the outflow to the bottom over here and then just put the CO2 diffuser like right there and then just shoot it. Although what I would really want is to have the outflow of the sea of the canister filter right here kind of like right here but there's just not enough space in between these two tanks to do that i mean i might be able to do it um but i don't know i don't know yet i might i might do it right here and then have the co2 diffuser right in front of it and just have it all blow but again it would block the front so maybe i'll just do it in the back it'll be easier um so what I, right now what i'm doing is i'm migrating a lot of the pinatifida from that side to this side to kind of get an even just spread uh this tank's gonna end up being just a jungle uh whereas this tank is also a jungle but and you can kind of see the difference differences in color and um like different texture of plants this tank is going to be mostly just a few plants not really that many different so I'm not gonna have like a big species difference like this. At least I don't want to. 
because a lot of these plants won't look good over here. Like the ones that would, would be something like this. Those would look really nice, the ARs. Uh, this one I think is AR Mini, or I'm not sure what the system is. It's AR, but I forget what AR. Uh, maybe once I get that going, I'll get, throw some over there as well. Uh, there's a lot more shade here. So uh, if you can see here, this is a Crypt. I think it's a brown, when Daddy Eye Brown, something like that. I would probably want to get a few more. Just like maybe three more, a couple here, a couple there. Uh, although it, it's really shaded down there, so I'm not sure how good it would do. Since technically here, it's pretty shaded too. It doesn't get too much light. It does get some light, but it's pretty shaded as well. But I, it feels like Crip um, plants are not that light. Mm, starving of light? They don't need that much light? Yeah, there you go. Take a look at these uh, fire reds. Crazy, really nice. I didn't get any males, unfortunately, um, but they're doing really good. Luckily, my Caradinas are doing very well. My Caradina species, um, well, I guess these are considered pure red lines. That's what they were sold to me as. Um, are starting to finally breed, I guess. I have a, a female that is buried. I'm trying to find her right now. I have a buried female. She's probably the biggest shrimp in this tank. And she's in here somewhere. She has babies right now. She has eggs. Uh, doesn't have tons of eggs. I think this is probably her first time she ever, she's ever gonna have little shrimps, little shrimp babies. I can't find her right now. But yeah, she's 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 uh, she has some in there, but she hides them really well. It's kind of hard to tell that she has any eggs. It's just uh, once in a while I'll see her kind of swim in front of the tank here and I'm like wow shoot she has eggs you know so I think we're, I'm going on like two or three weeks of that hopefully I think it's another month before she'll let them all out uh, I've been keeping an eye on her and it looks like they are still little circles they're not they're not yet like they don't have eyeballs or anything yet so still pretty young um, I don't know where she's at but yeah that's this tank uh, just kind of doing my thing with it just spreading it out it isn't as appealing as it when it was first it wasn't it isn't as appealing as when i first you know set it up but i think it still looks pretty good i think it looks nice that's all i got for you guys today stay safe out there like and subscribe if you can leave a comment in the comment section talk to me about plants tell me what you think about your shrimps how do you, well, actually, here's a good question. How do you balance keeping a nicely well, like, aquascaped tank and breeding shrimp? Is that even a possible thing? Let me know what you think. Can you breed shrimp and still keep a nice aquascape? Uh, I'm sure, like, something like Iwagumi wouldn't work, but maybe a nature style one would, right? I haven't seen anybody do it. I'm sure people do it, but a lot of times when you look at a, somebody's, like, nature scape or something like that, they don't zoom in. To like the shrimp they just zoom into the plants and you're like cool it looks nice but i wonder if shrimp are breeding in there you know so that'd be cool if you can uh let me know if you have anything like that a nice like scape where you're like yeah i have like a thousand cherries in here or whatever you know i'd be um really interested in seeing a video of that too all right guys thanks oh actually update blue dreams i'm up to about 50 right now so getting ready to breed them out hopefully take them out uh right when everything settles so like I said, let me know if you have shrimp like this just going crazy where you can't even really see them. You can't even really see the shrimp in here. But if you zoom in, there's shrimp everywhere. There. Yeah, let me know. Comment section below. Let me know what kind of shrimp tanks you have. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.